A music video is an excellent promotional tool for an album or a single. It can really bring a song to life through a personal story or even inspiring others in a lot of different ways. So when should we actually release one in conjunction with our song's release? Should it be after our song is out? Should we release it beforehand to build hype? Well, stick around because in this video, we're going to talk about when to release a music video and how it can help you boost your album or song sales as well. Let's blast off and get started. Konnichiwa Cyborgs, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music, helping you become a better indie artist. I make futuristic dance pop music and every Wednesday on this channel, I'm helping others take their music to level two. If that sounds good, consider subscribing. If not, then enjoy being on level one. But level one is boring. I would know. I've been on level one for the last 12 years. Think about that. Okay, so before we actually dive into when exactly you should be releasing a music video, please remember that there are no concrete rules for this. I'm just gonna give you a few options that will help maximize the hype around your song or album release. The pop music industry is changing right now and there's a lot of experimentation on the timing, so I'm gonna give you the most popular options right now. And remember, when you're independent like me, you don't always need to do what everyone else is doing. So let's get started. Option one, on the same day. This first option is currently starting to be the most popular method. With streaming steadily on the rise to become the most popular way people consume music, releasing your music video on the same day your song launches can help lead your fans straight to the buy link. It serves as a great online social media presence and it gets fans excited about the song. It makes your release day seem that much bigger. Also, if you've seen my video on how to get on the Billboard charts, you know that YouTube and Vivo views can help get you on the charts. So music video Video views plus streaming plus buying can really help improve your odds of getting on there. That's why popular artists like Ariana Grande or Tiffany Young are doing this. However, a word of caution, if your fan base is still relatively small, I might wait on trying this approach because sending your fans in seven different directions on release day might cause them to not click any links at all. Like you're trying to send them to YouTube, to send them to the buy link, to send them to the stream. Like it gets confusing and a lot of fans just will be like, no, I'm not doing this. Or they might watch your video, but they don't go download the song. So that's where option two comes in. Option two, within three to six weeks of your album launch date. This option's good if you release your first single like two months before your album release. Step one, song is released digitally. Step two, your promo, and then it kind of starts to die down. Step three, music video teaser premieres to refresh your fans about the song, and it also doubles as more promo for the video. And then step four, your music video actually premieres. Choosing this option allows fans to be excited about your music over a longer period of of time, whereas how option one put more emphasis on the actual release date and it was a shorter time period. This option is really good too because it can help boost album sales way after your actual launch date. It gives you some time to put any last minute touches on the video or frees up your schedule to do a few other things in the meantime and that way it's not so promo heavy on your actual release date. The downside with option two is that you run the risk of your fans not really caring as much about it if it's too far away from your album launch date. However, if the song you're choosing is popular among your fan base and they really like it, you'll be fine. The last option I have for you has a couple options within it. Depending on which side of the actual buying launch date you choose to release your music video on. Option three, within plus or minus three to five days of the actual launch date. Choosing to premiere your music video before the buy date is good because it introduces fans to your new sound or it emphasizes the album art. It really builds hype with your fans and they can go watch the video a million times so that way when it's actually out, they go straight away and buy it. And it's a great branding tactic too if your actual album art comes from the set of your music video, like you took pictures on the set. So the imagery is reinforced and they complement each other. So it's like a whole big package. And that's actually true for all of the options, just FYI. Now choosing to premiere the music video 
after your buy date is great because it kind of extends your release day excitement for just a little bit longer. And because your song is available for them to stream or buy, they can watch your video and go straight to the link. It keeps hype up for your song or your full album or EP up just a little bit longer and can help increase sales while the song is still hot. So whether you choose to release your music video during the launch week or a while after or on the same day, just make sure you've planned accordingly and you know your fan base well enough. That way, no matter when you release your music video, it's sure to be a smash. So those are some options on when to release a music video. Question of today's video, when are you releasing your next music video? Leave me a comment below letting me know. If you want to check out my music, my new EP Utopia is available now. Links in the description below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller, and I will see you next time. Matane! And you gotta make dinner But you won't, won't, nope So I'm just bitter I said I'm not angry